it's not like standing out in the field and just shooting a bunch of birds. It's not, that's not what it's about. Quail hunting is about the process of training a fine bird dog, of guiding the hunt, the friendship, enjoying a resource, a quail. It's an event. It's not just shooting a quail. It's an event. Quail hunting to me is the ultimate sport that I can walk this planet and do. The bobwhite quail, it is the ultimate gentleman's bird. It is a, a phenomenal opportunity for hunting, sustainability, great eating quality, and great economic impact. These birds, they're incredible how they can move through forested area or, or a mesquite area that can escape a fast hawk in the air. What is it about the West Texas environment, climate, habitat, everything that drives these populations? There's a covey roost here about the size of a baseball hat, which is, that's a good group of quail. We bought this ranch 20 years ago in about 1998. And my son Ronnie was a part of that when he was just a few years old. When we came to West Texas, it was the first time I actually picked up a gun and went into the field. I probably hunted with my father for almost 10 years, watching the dogs work and him shoot quail. And I grew up eating quail, so, you know, being that young, Looking up to my father, uh, shooting my first quail was a was an exciting moment. Yeah, the land here is is great quail habitat, and this is uh, uh, called cat claw. It's a good escape cover, and and out here you've got all kinds of forbs and seed materials that these birds use, and of course good escape cover down in the draws. So typically, um, as far as habitat goes, this is very high quality. We, we maintain it that way by trying to make sure we have appropriate practices in place to, uh, to protect the land. Started hunting out here in 1980. We leased this ranch for 13 years and then bought it in 1993 and have owned it since. But we had great bird crops. I can give you the years, 82, 87, 92, 97, 04, 05 were fabulous years. And then in 2010, we had tremendous numbers of birds in the middle of the summer. By the fall, the birds were gone. And there was no weather factor that we could pin that on. I don't mean reduced, I mean gone. The wild quail is the number one declining bird in America today, according to the National Audubon Society. And we began to look into the parasite hypothesis. Many will say it's habitat, it's rainfall, it's a lot of these factors, which of course all play into this. But we've identified a culprit that makes quail unhealthy and can contribute to these population fluctuations. We looked at pesticides, we looked at bacterial diseases, viral diseases, parasitic diseases. And so we've invested a lot of time with Dr. Ron Kendall up at the Wildlife Toxicology Lab. After three years of study, two parasites, two parasitic worms, rose to the top, those being the eye worm and the seek worm. What we're doing with parasites and quail, what the Wildlife Toxicology Laboratory has done was provide leadership to assess the gravity and the scope of these parasitic infections. And now, some years later, we're getting very close to that solution. Well, are culturally important to people like me and those orange-clad brethren that bring their bird dogs out. They're economically important to small towns like Roby and to those kinds of towns because every time they see a, a dog truck pull through with guys wearing orange caps, that's worth about $6,500. Bruce, Ranching is tough because you have so many challenges that you have to face with the weather and 
rainfall, everything. It endears you to the land. It ties your heart to your property and your wildlife and your animals and your dog, everything. It is an amazing love experience because either you love it or you don't. And our family loves it. The bottom line is, we're West Texas ranchers. I have developed a medicated feed for treatment of wild quail. I have developed a strategy to deliver the feed to the quail. We can target a wild quail now and get a medicated treatment to the quail. Our feed delivery systems are the future of delivering supplemental feeding and medicated feed to our wild quail. They are protected from predation, essentially no true threat or concern while feeding in our systems and while escaping our systems. It's, it's easy, it's simple, you don't need a PhD to do it. We think the feed is effective and the systems are a very effective way to deliver it. So many species going extinct and being challenged or threatened. You know, it's just, it's just something we should do as human beings because we coexist on this planet with our wildlife and our wildlife are a barometer of our own health. Our well-being and our future and sustainability, even as a human race, I think depends on the sustainability of our wildlife species. Here's your little gun, Ronnie. Our mission with this medicated feed, our feed delivery system, and all that we do is to allow future generations to still be able to participate in these traditions in the outdoors. Ronnie, do you like coming out here with Daddy? We believe we can create a, a higher abundance of these quail and be able to engage more people into the outdoors. The quail hunter is declining due to a very cyclical boom bust pattern of quail hunting that people can't rely on. And with, with what we do, we believe we can get more people into the outdoors and expand this tradition, expand interest in conserving our wildlife and expand interest in the future generations to participate in the outdoors and also care and protect the outdoors.